all across TikTok, it's, it's the uh, the gender war happening lately between females and males, and males, you know, uh, abandon their posts and things of that nature. And I can say at one particular time, I was selfish and I was in a gang and I was doing strange things out there, dangerous things in the streets, you know what I'm saying? Kind of careless in my uh, actions and things. And I, and I can blame that to my ignorance of how music affect me and how the culture was uh, delivered to me. And, and I became a reflection of the, the music and the, and the culture that was manufactured and produced and gave to me, right? You know what I'm saying? So I don't make no excuses for my behavior, uh, make no excuses for my actions because I was fully aware to a lot of consequences, but not all the consequences, right? And I suffered 21 years in prison behind it. And I, and during those times, I came back and forth in and out of jail, and I was just seeing the changes that was occurring in the world, and I was just seeing how the females are not feminine no more, and the, and the dudes weren't real no more. You know what I'm saying? That was just my observation. And I was just like, wow, this stuff is getting crazy. And now it's time to keep on continuing. I just see that the division between male and female is at an all-time high. And my thing is, things are rapidly, quickly uh, getting worse out here. And it's going to get real dangerous out here, real crazy. So my past, you know what I'm saying, is is a good thing for me. My Me being a POW, a prisoner of war from the drug war, you know what I'm saying, and going through the uh, the the test of your gangster or whatever you want to call it has prepared me for a lot of things that people are not prepared for. I understand what struggle look like. I I understand what lack look like. I understand what being frugal look like. But I, I understand also that a uh, a lot of these males are not prepared for what it's going to become. And a lot of these females most definitely is blind, deaf, and dumb to the things that y'all are saying and how unprotected y'all are, are these days. I mean, truly unprotected because even as men, and I, my grandmother raised me to be a, a righteous man in a lot of ways, a man of character and a man of morals and a man of respect. I've saved plenty of women from uh, being abused or, or doing uh, getting uh, violated, right, you know what I'm saying, especially on my watch, right, you know what I'm saying. I done came to the defense of many women, but I could say in this day and time, I would be reluctant. I mean, super duper reluctant to come to the defense of a, mo the majority of young ladies and women today because you have no respect for the man. But I'm telling y'all, and it's not no preaching. This is not no no uh, uh, content, uh, trying to condemn or talk down on anybody. But it's been rapidly becoming a time where y'all are going to need protection. Y'all are going to need them provisions that y'all say y'all don't need. It. I don't need no man. That is going to be tested across the board and a lot of y'all gonna be out there vulnerable looking crazy right now you're looking crazy right now you're looking like man how i'm gonna be able to pay these bills man how i'm gonna be able to live this facade how i'm gonna be able to feed my kids how i'm gonna be able to do this and this and this and this this and so secretly you know what i'm saying that anxiety and that depression is sitting in and that fear is clouding over you sitting like a cloud over your head and raining down on you because you are not gonna have the protection the God given protection, that shield, that man who's willing to go and die for you, that brother who's willing to go and die for you, you know what I'm saying, got your back or in your corner. And this is by design. So I implore you ladies, you know what I'm saying, to reconsider some of your actions and your behavior and get back into your feminine principles. Because, you know what I'm saying, you can't fight off the moves. And believe, believe me, if y'all ain't watching, these wolves are hollering and crying out here. You know what I'm saying? These people finna call y'all a war. You feel me? Which y'all ain't ready for. War finna hit this land. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't ready for. Unrest is finna hit this land. You not ready for it. Them wolves are howling out here. You feel me? And I'm a man. I'm a stand-up cat. You know what I'm saying? But I got to prepare myself too, physically and mentally, for a lot of things that's finna occur. You know what I'm saying? Because there's going to be a lot of bloodshed, a lot of death, a lot of despair, a lot of pain, a lot of hardship. You know what I'm saying? And people are going to faint with this. These are men, right? So just imagine you ladies uncovered. You know what I'm saying? Still going about thinking that, you know, uh, Sexy Red is live and uh, Cardi B and them is live. And that's the, the life. Oh, baby, baby, baby. Babylon has failed. 
That is not the life no more. Just consider. As my partner say, reconsider. 